Yeah, man, Power One Five One Desert Storm Radio, world famous DJ Clue Desert Storm. Like I tell y'all, my man's in the building, baby. Drizzy's here, man. What's up? What's up, man? It's about time, man. You know, I, I heard I, they gave me the word like about thirty minutes ago, like yo. You need to go up there. I was like, yeah, I'm going, man. I got to go yeah, see Clue, Yeah, come see Clue, man. Clue, take care of Drizzy Pause, you know what I mean? <laughs> Definitely, man. Yeah, So, man. yo, man, I, I heard you shut the city down, man. Yo. Today, right near the mayor's office. Not far from the mayor's office, right. either. Yeah, yeah, no. It was, um, today was like, it was bittersweet, man, because it's like, you know, I was so humbled by the turnout, but at the same time, I was so disappointed, man. I couldn't get those people what they wanted and what they showed up for, man. And it's like it would have been the perfect cumulative wrap up to this entire day that I put so much energy into. I had so many special things planned for the night. Um, and, you know, just to be able to perform for New York City while the sun is setting and all these young kids, it was like yeah. it was what I had in mind. And, uh, man, I showed up. They wouldn't. They really wouldn't let me get off the bus, man. They wouldn't even let me see the fans. They wouldn't let me do anything. They wanted me to turn around and go right back to where I came from. Like, not here, bro. Like, they saw our bus. It was like, mm -mm, No autographs, here. nothing? Nothing, nothing. Wow. They wanted me out of the area, you know? So it was like, it was extremely disappointing, you know? Um, I, I do, I, do, I mean, for, for what I can apologize for, I apologize to New York City because we had a great show tonight. You know, shout out to everybody that was uh, that was willing to come out and rock with me tonight, man. I was I was about to do some do some 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 things for the people, man. So shout out to everybody. I'm not gonna say who it was because I'm gonna, <laughs> I, I, we, we took did, a rain check. <laughs> did we but, have some special guests on oh, the bus? Oh man, I'm telling you, they weren't on the bus. They were on their way down in their own cavalcades, man. It was oh, it was man. Gonna, it was gonna be so epic tonight, man. I'm telling you, but you know. Until next time, that's 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 the best I could say. But New York City, I love y'all so much, man. For today, I, I, w I was overwhelmed to say the least by everything, by the by the people outside Best Buy, by the you know the people at um, South Seaport, and um, I, I I don't know what to say. I'm honored, man. It's, it's it's the beginning of our journey, and it feels like the end already. So you know, I mean, it's like it's crazy, man. Y'all showed me too much love, and you know, I promise. I promise to come back with a, with an album that's even better than than the one that you do you just purchased or just downloaded and uh, performances that are better than you know the last one you've seen. You know that's my goal, man. I just want to keep getting better. Definitely, man. I mean, I, I hope we didn't practice too much for this show because I know how that feels, man. Because man, I do parties all the time that get shut down, man. So it's a, it's not a good thing. I was definitely mentally like locked in, ready. I was mentally like, okay, I know I got a lot of big like I got BT awards this month and this show and that show, but. This is New York City outdoors, man. You yeah, can't yeah, beat that. Yeah. It's I was serious. ready. I made some phone. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I made some phone calls. <laughs> I pulled some weight today, man. I was disappointed, man. I made some phone calls. I was ready to really have the people be like, "Word." But I'm just, I'm, I'm really surprised when I heard when I heard Drake outdoor concert and I heard Free. South Street Seaport. I was like, that sound more like Central Park, you know, Bryant Park, you know, yeah, stuff like that. It was, it was, uh. It was a unique situation. I was just excited about it. You know, I mean, I pass by there all the time. Um, to perform there would have been it would have been legendary. You know, I think definitely. I, I, I saw it looked like Woodstock out there. Like it was like people I see, all I in see, the I streets. seen a little twit pick of it. and I was like, whoa, yo, it was crazy, man. And and and, and what hurt me the most was when we were driving through there trying, you know, I mean, I they told me that we were about 5 minutes from the hotel when they told me to c turn around, you know. And I was like, "Nah, I can't. This, people got to see my bus at least. I got to make an effort." And then me and 40 were sitting there talking about, "Well, well can we hook up speakers to the top of the bus and I'll go out through the top of the bus and do a show wow. like on some Beatles, you know, doing the rooftop show." I was like, "Can we do anything?" And they were like, "You know, if you make a move like that, you're liable to get locked up, cuffed." Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I had no options, man. I had no options. I was, I was hurt, man. It was, it was, it was a crowd. I heard the crowd was rowdy though. So, you know, for future reference, man, please, if we're gonna do a hip hop show, whether it's myself or anybody else you love, just please try and control yourself because yeah, you, you see what be happens, safe, and it's never good for. It's never good when the artist doesn't show up. But, but what hurt me the most was people like, yeah, man, F Drake, man, you know, Drake this and Drake that. I was like, yo, please don't, please understand. It was not me. I'm telling you, like, people I, never understand that. Never man. get it. But, but you know, it's, it's. I mean, it's understandable. I understand the frustration. You've been out there since three in the afternoon. Yeah. You know, they probably told you I was coming on at six. They told me to go on at eight o'clock. You know, they want you out there early. Um, but you know, I, I listen. I remember standing out there for those shows, man. I remember being a fan, and I'm still a fan of many individuals. So, uh, just. Know that I I I, I owe you one. Yeah. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Now we here, man. It's power one five one, y'all.